I'm Eric Sorensen for Grady White Boats. We're on a Grady 375 triple outboards, triple Yamahas. We're going to go through the test ride procedures. We're going to show you what makes a Grady White, no matter the size, uniquely capable. And because it's such a great running boat in rough water or calm water, it doesn't make any difference. You'll get to use it more often, more reliably, and you'll be safer, more secure, and you'll have a lot more fun with your boat more days each season. So let's take a look at why that is. First thing we'll look at is the boat coming up on plane. Now some boats come up with a lot of bow rise and you have to drop the trim tabs and it's a big mess. If you, what you're looking for is a boat that'll come up, slide right up on plane, you don't lose sight of the horizon ahead, which is a big safety factor. And you can also see that a Grady White is able to plane it at a low speed compared to other boats. So what that does for you is it allows you to go along on top of the water instead of dragging through it and you get better mileage better economy and better range if you decide to go really slow, whether it's because you just want to enjoy the scenery or it's really rough out. So here we go. We'll come up. Engines are trimmed all the way in to lift the stern up. Just over 3,000 RPM. We're coming up on plane. I'm going to start trimming the engines out. There we are. Got a good running angle. Never lost sight of the horizon under the bow. Very key safety factor. Uh, the shape of the hull makes every bit of difference when you're out on the water. But even in calm water, it can make a big difference. The shape of this hull, the CV2 Grady White hull, allows it to go straight through the water. In fact, it takes some effort to turn the boat one way or the other. And so it's, the boat tracks very easily with very little effort. You don't have to keep correcting. The boat's not yawing from side to side all the time. So it makes the boat more pleasant to run and also safer if you're in restricted conditions and you're at speed. The boat will go exactly where you want it to go every time. It's very predictable. So the Grady White hull design allows you to go faster when it's rough. You can go faster, further, reach your destination, and you can go out more often. It also, with a dual console like this one, allows people to sit in the bow of the boat almost all the time. You're not going to get beat up in the bow. You can go along at a good speed speed that would slow other boats down and still be comfortable in the bow. So people love to love to ride up forward where it's quiet, it's a great view, and you can do it much more often in a Grady than you can in, in our competition. So it's a, it's a wonderful attribute and, a, and an advantage of owning a Grady White boat. One of the things I really like about the Grady White performance is when you put the boat in a turn, it's going to heel over to one side just like a bicycle, call it a bicycle turn if you want or like an airplane. If you're in an airplane walking to the bathroom when the pilot puts the plane in a turn, you don't even know you're, you don't know you're turning because the centrifugal force goes right down through your feet into the deck. Now that's the same thing you get on a Grady White. You have some of our competitors that have uh, a lot of dead rise, say 24 degrees, 25 degrees at the transom. They heal too much into the turn, so you fall inboard. Other builders who have too little dead rise in this turn tend to oftentimes tend to turn too flat. If you're in a boat with a keel, you heel in the wrong direction or a pontoon boat. So the Grady White is just right. So it's, it makes the boat safer. If you have to maneuver quickly or your 16-year-old takes the wheel and uh, just decides to spin it around, people are going to be much safer as a result of that because they're going to feel like they're on a boat that's, that's not heeling over at all. Another thing that I like to do to demonstrate the safety of the turn is to have somebody close their eyes and then tell me when the boat goes into a turn. And oftentimes, if it's calm, they really don't know. The boat feels just the same whether you're on an even keel going straight ahead or whether you've got the engines over quite hard. So that's another indication that the boat turns with a neutral amount of force. One key performance feature of the Grady White hull is that you can put the boat in a hard turn at high speed and the boat's not going to hook on you. It's not gonna, the stern's not going to slide out underneath you. That makes the boat much more stable at high speed and therefore safer for the passengers. Now let's see what happens when we take this 375 and go up to 4500 RPM and put the engines hard over. All the boat does is slow down and turn harder. Believe me, a lot of our competitors, if you put the, if you put the engines hard over to one side at 4000 or 4500 RPM, the next thing you know, you're, you're going south one minute and going north three seconds later. These boats won't do that. It makes them safer more stable and the people sitting in the stern will thank you for buying a Grady. One thing to watch for in any 
boat that you are considering buying when you take it out on a test ride is back down and see if any water shifts aboard. You should be able to back down at, you know, 14, 1500 RPM in an outboard powered boat easily and not have any water, maybe a little spray once in a while, but you not, not any solid water come aboard. Some of our competitors, when you do this, even at an idle, the water will come right in underneath the transom door and fill up the cockpit. So now you've seen what to look for in a sea trial. Grady White passes all these tests with flying colors. Coming up on plane easily without losing the horizon ahead of you so you can see what's going on in front of the boat. Uh, being able to plane with a clean wake astern at a low speed. Being able to turn uh, with a turn like a bicycle with just the right amount of heel to the side so that you're comfortable and you're not getting thrown around. Being able to turn at high speed in an extreme turn with the engines hard over without the stern sliding out or hooking out from underneath you makes the boat much safer. Being able to sit in the bow of the boat even when it's rougher out and be comfortable and safe up there lets you use the full length of the boat and you'll be able to get out there more often, reach your destinations more reliably, and generally enjoy your boat and really get exceptional value out of a Grady White. So I hope you've enjoyed this feature. I'm Eric Sorensen with Grady White Boats.